Teresa is the only female glader. Um, she comes up about halfway through the story and she's kind of the catalyst of everything going wrong <laughs> and uh, everything changing. Uh, she comes up with a message that says she's the last one ever um, and that sends the camp into, you know, dismay. Thomas uh, is one of the boys who's in the Glade and they have a very strange connection that they can't quite explain. They feel as though they know, they know each other, they feel as though something important has happened to both of them, but they can't quite explain what. Um, and they're trying to work out, you know, why they feel so connected and why they're so similar. The Glade is this really quite beautiful place um, that they find themselves in. Uh, it's a beautiful field, it has some forest, and, and it, it, they've built a community, they've built a home there. And beyond the walls is the maze um, and their escape, or so they think, or so they believe. Uh, and it, it, you know, it's a constant taunting every day that beyond that is freedom, uh, but they can't quite work out how to get there. We have Gally, who's the, uh, he's the, he's the builder. He's created this. The, the glade to him is, is his baby. He, he's built it. Uh, and, you know, he's quite intimidating, he's quite strong uh, and he wants to protect what they've built, he wants to protect the community that they have. We have, you know, Albie, who's the father of the group, <clears throat> who's been there the longest and understands it the best and is almost at peace with the Glade, I feel. I feel like he, yeah, he's found his role and he, he's happy to kind of, to, to keep the peace and keep everyone happy. Minho is the, the leader of the runners, the very fit, very sort of athletic person who spent the last three years trying to find a way out. Um, and he's kind of very affected by it. I think he, he, you know, he's seen the worst of it uh, and he knows what's beyond those walls and a lot of the other boys don't. Chuck is the youngest glader. He's 12 um, and he's very innocent. Uh, he's, he's kind of the innocence within the story. He just kind of wants to make friends and eat the food and party and, and you know, enjoy life in the Glade. I found it, it to be really about survival and instincts um, and fighting the system, which I love. Dylan is um, really fun. He's got so much energy. He's, uh, he's constantly doing impressions and being silly and messing around. And then when it comes to the actual take, he's 100% focused and he's 100% professional. Wes is, for me, one of the most interesting directors I've worked with. I love working with first time directors. Uh, this is his first feature. I found that great. I thought that was so exciting, especially with a film of this scale. 